Greetings, everyone. This is Bill Eddy with High Conflict Institute. This is week 10 of the COVID-19 shutdown. Um, I'm speaking from California, San Diego, of course. And this is our 10th week we're beginning. This is my Monday message. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, it's been a difficult time, but things are starting to open up somewhat here and around the world, actually. And people are getting outside, outdoors, uh, families, uh, individuals. Here in San Diego, the uh, beaches are open for walking, um, but not for just sitting and sunbathing. And the theory being, I believe, that you're less likely to catch the COVID droplets in the outside air where it blows away. But if you're sitting near somebody for a while, there's a risk there. Anyway, so we're seeing some signs of progress. But I also wanted to mention, uh, since many of our uh, people that follow High Conflict Institute from around the United States, Canada, Europe, Australia. I wanted to just give kudos to Australia this morning. I'm um, reading in the, uh, the New York Times that Australia has 25 million people and has had 99 deaths. That's less than 100 deaths from the COVID-19. This comes out to four deaths per million people. The United States, in comparison, has 275 COVID deaths per million. And Britain has 511 deaths per million. Now, I might add that uh, New Zealand, as I understand it, has maybe 20 21 deaths in the country of, uh, I believe it's, it's either 5 million or 9 million, I forget. So anyway, around the world, we're seeing some successes. I teach every um, September, October in Australia for three weeks, and we have already made arrangements for me to do this um, by uh, Zoom. And I must say I'm kind of jealous because their campuses will be open, people will be walking around, whereas some of the ones here in California and the United States are gonna be online in the fall. But I must say I'm glad I'm not going to be flying to Australia, which entails about a 16 hours of flying um, in a small space with other people who I'm sure won't be six feet away and sharing the same um, uh, air conditioning system. So I must say I'm pleased I get to still teach there um, without having to leave home, essentially. Now these Monday messages, I try to include at least one tip about conflict resolution. And in many cases, high conflict, where people get stuck, things get escalated. And so my tip for today is to have three theories of a case. If, say, John says Mary is acting badly, very badly, then you've got to have at least three theories. And I do a lot of consulting as well as training. And even in the last few weeks, I keep bumping up against people not thinking broadly enough. And they easily get hooked into the first theory that gets thrown out there. So let's take the first theory. John says Mary is acting very badly, and she is. And that's one theory. Perhaps she's abusing the children, or abusing John, or abusing substances, or maybe she's alienating the children against John. Any of these could be true. So it could be true that Mary is acting very badly. And that's the first theory. The second theory is Mary's not doing anything wrong. She's doing fine. And John is acting badly. 
And so you have to look at the person who's accusing somebody else as a possible theory of the case. You have to examine that. Is John acting badly here? We can't just say, well, is Mary acting badly or not? We have to say, is Mary acting badly or not? But is John acting badly or not? So that's the second theory of the case. We got to look at John. Maybe John is abusive. Maybe he's abusing Mary and then telling the world that Mary's abusing him. And, or he may be abusing substances or the children, or he may be alienating the children against Mary. And we know that alienation isn't a gender issue. It's really in many ways a personality issue, passing all or nothing thinking from someone with that kind of thinking to a child who now has all or nothing thinking about one of their parents. Now I said there's three theories. The third theory is both John and Mary are acting badly. And you have to consider that possibility too. Now, we deal a lot with court cases, and especially family court cases, but business disputes, uh, personal injury, harassment, all of that, you have to think of it this way. You can't just look at one theory. You have to examine all three theories. And so that's my tip of today. If you're in a family and someone says a relative is acting badly, you got to look at both people, the person that may be acting badly and the person who's telling you this. I would suggest in the news you keep that type of approach. And so three theories. One person says another is acting badly. Don't assume it's true. Don't assume it's not true. Think of, is John acting badly to Mary? Is Mary acting badly to John? Are they both acting badly? So that's my tip for today. And I hope that's helpful. Keep an open mind and keep three theories in mind. Have a good week and stay healthy.